Hello, I'm Jennifer Bustard. As a high school principal, we have implemented many strategies in the past to improve student attendance and behaviors. These initiatives have had great starts, but they did not have a lasting impact. The difference with the strategies that we are now using is that they are completely staff-driven, staff-led, and the results speak for themselves. Our high school is in its second year of PBIS implementation, and we have seen drastic improvements in overall school culture and climate. In just one year, the discipline referrals have decreased by 50%. While the data supports our efforts, the most visible result is the positive feeling one gets when one sees the students in the hallways, classroom, and events. Even when I'm out in the community, I hear positive things about our school and students. The video you are about to see is a collection of thoughts shared by staff and students on the impact of creating a positive culture at Mona Shores High School. Being part of the My Bilsey team as a classroom teacher, I feel, has really been beneficial because it starts with us as teachers. We are the people who have direct contact with the students. For it to work, we have to embrace the process. And because it has been such a big initiative in our building, our teachers are using it and our students are proving it through their positive behaviors and attitudes. When I first started using the language from the behavior matrix, it was difficult, but the more I use it, the more natural it is. I have also found students using the common language as well because they hear it so often by the adults around them. This positive language is going to be the norm in our building and it's because our teachers have taken ownership in it. When our My Blissey team formed a year and a half ago, we never realized the gains we could make in such a short period of time. Not only can the staff and students feel a change in the culture of the building, but our attendance and discipline data affirms it. This data drives the decisions we make as we continue to move forward with our implementation. Staff are using positive statements and recognizing positive behaviors, and our students are more kind and engaged. Less instructional time is spent on discipline issues. The support we have received at the district and ISD level has been key. The partnerships we have formed with community organizations to support our PRIDE initiative have been a huge success. I look forward to what we have yet to come as we build these partnerships and a positive school environment. Student achievement gains are just around the corner. So the purpose of the Pride Matrix at Mona Shores High School is to show students how to act. It's to give them examples of what personal responsibility, integrity, discipline, and engagement actually look like, give them opportunities, give them examples, reinforce them when they do the right thing, and encourage them to turn the corner when they do the wrong. The purpose of college and career readiness is more than just a test score that represents academic achievement. I mean, you're talking things about responsibility to expectations are set upon you and expectations that you set upon yourself. The academic expectations are one part of that, um, but we know that in terms of the real world, it's how you get along with people, it's how you problem solve, it's how you uh, deal with conflict. What I do with the Pride Matrix in my classroom is I go through my class rules and I discuss how somebody not using the Pride Matrix would handle the situation and how somebody using the Pride Matrix would handle the situation. So for example, you know, if a kid forgets his homework and I'm in the middle of a lecture and comes up and bothers me and, oh, Mr. Uh, no, no, you know, sit down, we'll, we'll talk about this later. You know, that's how you wouldn't handle the situation. Somebody with the Pride Matrix, though, would come in before school, hey, Mr. Anders, can I talk to you real quick? Uh, this was happening last night. Do you think I could turn in the homework tomorrow? Absolutely, that's fine. Right? That is a great life lesson to learn. It's incorporated in through every unit that we do in health. Um, and so we talk about, we have a pride PowerPoint that we go over at the beginning of the trimester and at the end of the trimester. And we incorporate it into every unit that we do and they take a survey and they have a point of scale. Basically they get a certain amount of points 
and um, they don't know what that value is going to be. They get to compare their value b before, pre and post, um, to see how their pride basically fitted into their life and if they've improved like in their personal responsibility and their respect and integrity and discipline and engagement. Throughout the trimester, my student leadership kids constantly look for different projects and activities that they can do to show their sailor pride. Our student leadership class and the rest of the school showed respect this year by supporting the less fortunate this year during the canned food drive. Throughout the trimester, student leadership class has shown engagement by reading to elementary schoolers. Being engaged means being involved in your school district. Our student leadership class showed pride by placing up motivational words in the math and science wing. Um, we did this to encourage students to stay true to blue and follow the pride matrix with words such as dream, discipline, and inspire. It impacted me as a student because it made me a better person that I am today. I never, I, I don't do the stuff that I used to do when I was in my old school and it helped me to get better, like to stay on track and do my work and focus on the, the main things that I gotta look ahead in my future. I do know this. I do know that I have a great sense of pride over the fact that we as adults that are in charge of these students, because we have the power, we're not using the power. And that's so important to me. I don't think we're abusing this power that we have. We're really listening to the students, I just feel like, and making a connection with what exactly they need. And so because of that, we don't have kids that are storming out. We don't have shouting. We don't have these power struggles that have gone on in the past. There's just a sense of calmness and I feel like kids leave feeling like I've been heard. Now are they still getting disciplined? Yes, but it's done in a way that there's just a connection. Uh, I think Mona Shores has gotten a lot more positive over the last couple of years due to our new matrix that we incorporated to Sailor Pride. Uh, people really got more pride over the past couple of years by being more positive to each other, um, more energetic at like athletic events, um, the newspaper putting out special editions for the football team, for the singing Christmas tree that will come out next year. I mean just like what the broadcast says, you know, this is Sailor Country, we do everything with pride and I think we've taken that, we've run with it over these past couple of years. We've taken pride in everything we do depending on, you know, no matter what club it is or whatever, whatever sport it is, whatever grade you're in, it doesn't matter. When freshmen come in this school, there's no longer that freshman hazing, you know, the freshman, you know, go home freshman chance. That's all gone away, and that wasn't just because of the administrators. I think all the students realize that it's just, it's kind of pointless, and we're all together here at Mona Shores. Uh, there's no question that um, it is a motivator. Uh, what we do in the high school is try to teach intrinsic motivation. I think that comes from uh, the desire to be better, to emulate somebody that does the right thing. Um, those little nuggets of extrinsic motivation show students um, that you know positive behaviors are good, that we want them to continue to be respectful and polite and engaged and to act appropriately. Um, the impact has been more responsibility overall, more respect. Um, awarding them with pride passes and praise and um, extra little um, rewards has just, their behavior has been much better overall. And using the language has been important because they know what that means. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there is such a change in the, in the students' attitude from the seniors last year, from when it was first introduced, to the seniors this year who have been doing, doing the program for over a year now. Different attitude, different um, level of respect, I think, for the material that we have. And I'm seeing, at least first trimester, a different level of engagement in the class. Could have to do with a lot of things, but I'm feeling a lot of a more positive attitude and more um, they're more interested in, in really being engaged with the, with the information that we give them because we do a lot of work in class. Kids just come in, um, they may be running late, but they're not reprimanded for running late. They're welcome that you're here, glad you're here, you know, get to class, take care of business, that kind of thing. So everything is met with a positive, which I think is so um, important. Anytime someone is recognized 
in a positive way on a daily basis or a regular basis, I think you're going to see a huge change in people. And we're dealing with high school kids and who doesn't need a positive encouragement in this day and age. Probably one of the biggest things I've noticed uh, about the Pride Matrix, the way the kids handle themselves using some of these strategies. And the big picture is it's not just school, it's life. You take these uh, traits and apply them to every aspect of your life and you are going to be successful and I believe that.